Thanks to AMD for sponsoring this video from CES 2017. Learn more about their Ryzen processors at the link in the video description. So behind me is the Sony Xperia Projector. They're not giving us a price, they're not giving us any concrete specs, but they are telling us how it is intended to work. Now, I've seen projected touchscreen interfaces before. There was kind of a weird keyboard, like take your keyboard with you anywhere thing, but it didn't really work that well. This is a whole other level. This is a full-fledged Android experience that is projected simply by putting it down on a table onto a 23 inch display with 10 point multi-touch. And it's got a bunch of other cool stuff in it as well. Dual microphones for OK Google, stereo speakers. It's got an infrared sensor on the bottom. That's how it handles multi-touch. It's got NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It's got a 13 megapixel camera, which I'll talk a little bit more about why you would want a block in the middle of your dining room table with a camera on it later. And finally, it's got a built-in battery that's gonna have a capacity somewhere in between, unplug it to move it somewhere else without rebooting it and actually watching a movie on it. So use case number one is pretty simple. Let's say you're in, oh, I don't know, the kitchen. Uh, being able to sit and read the news or plan out your day while you're eating your cereal without getting you know, milk all over your phone or your tablet, I'm liking this. What about cooking? Now you've got a 23 inch display that you can interact with and see your recipe. And once you've you know, gotten everything all messy like I know I do, you go ahead, you cover the infrared sensor, wipe it up, freaking fantastic, love it. Moving over to the dining room table, multiplayer gaming on Android, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Why does it suck? Not because there aren't games, actually, but the fact that the screens are so small means you're really not having a very interactive experience or you're bumping heads, it gets a little too interactive. So they did a demo where I'm playing this game head-to-head -head against one of the Sony reps, and it actually feels like sitting and playing a board game. Freaking cool. So whether you're looking at like photos or you're, you know, collaborating on a document or something, I'm liking that too. But you flip it up, now you're in the living room, I like this one best. So by moving it 25 centimeters away from the wall, you can get up to an 80 inch screen. Is it competitive with a multi-thousand dollar projector? Come on, get real. Yes, it's a laser projector, but no, that's dumb. But if you're in a dorm or something like that, you've got some friends over, it is absolutely an acceptable way to watch a movie. And if you wanna play games, they've got a tie-in with PlayStation. So let's say you live in a multi-screen house, someone wants a TV, you go, okay, well, I'll just grab the projector, head over somewhere else, and I can play off the PlayStation remotely over the Wi-Fi. Liking that too. Last but not least, let's get back to the camera. Skype calls. Cool, right? Okay, the Wi-Fi in the hotel sucks, so we couldn't actually perform a Skype call, but you can see in the preview here that the wide-angle view of us on the couch actually looks pretty darn good. And by on a couch, I of course mean huddled together behind the tripod. So there's a couple use cases for it, but of course there are gonna be more. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you can think of what you would use a little kind of flexible pocket projector like this for. So thanks for watching our content from CES 2017. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out our sponsor for this video, AMD. They've got a bunch of information about their new Vega GPU architecture. You can head over to ve.ga, ve.ga. We'll have that linked in the video description. But this is a whole other way of handling graphics. We've seen it running Doom at 4K 60 FPS, absolutely maxed out settings live, and you are gonna wanna get all the details because uh, you're a big nerd, like me.